What is going on guys? I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, started a new job. Haven't really been working. Kind of just been lazy. But Muffin finally shed. She's been in shed for like a week. Um, so we're going to clean her. She's hungry because she pooped too. Every time she poops she thinks she deserves a rabbit. So we'll take her out. Clean her. Also I got four new snakes last week. Two of them I had to take to the vet. Um... I got home from the reptile show and I was hearing the male breathing and uh show you the snakes. So I took them to the vet and wound up having to get antibiotics and they're corn snakes. So I don't know why to get a corn snake to have a respiratory infection. It's pretty hard, man. They're pretty pretty hardy snakes. So that's the female. She had a slight wheeze, so I got medicine for her too. Try to get ahead of it. Then this is the male. Um, I gotta medicate them later. I'm gonna film that. Uh, obviously, I didn't decide what medicine to use. I took them to the vet. I paid the money. They gave me the medicine. It's already measured out. Um, how all the antibiotics work for you know the reptiles is. It'll be however many milliliters per weight of the snake the certain medicine I got I don't know what the ratio is because like I said I didn't um I didn't decide that the vet gave it to me never medicate your animals without getting it from a vet you know because you can potentially harm the snake if you give them too much antibiotic or not enough so definitely do that then I got these two little baby corn snakes here and these little tubs um probably not gonna show them today they're little, I just fed them. But everyone's eating great, it was just a respiratory problem. So uh, I'm gonna clean Muffin, I'm not gonna film any of that. And then, you know, we'll medicate these snakes and that'll be it. And oh, also update man, my boy Squirrel is a soldier. Boy's doing great. He was so swollen, it looked like a tumor in his belly. You know, I was doing like the fasting and then feeding him a pee. And uh, yeah, man, he pooped all that out. It was like a bunch of pus. It was nasty. And I was kind of expecting him to pass after he, you know, relieved all that pressure in his stomach. My boy's killing the game right now. He's, he's thriving for sure. It's awesome, man. Definitely thankful for that because uh, it's just a fish. But like, I love that fish. He's my fish. All right, squirrel. It's my boy. Right, let me get Muffin out. But other than that, man, nothing new in here, really. Just uh, same old stuff, you know, daily cleaning. Once I get these snakes on track, I plan on breeding these corn snakes. So, you know, I'm not a geneticist. Geneticist. I guess that's what it's called. Or anything. But um, the pairing of these... It'll be kind of a boring pairing, but the following, when I raise those babies up, that's when it'll get exciting. Or raising those babies up and these babies up, mixing them, those babies together, that's that's when it'll get cool. But these two adults, hopefully I can breed them this year. I think like I'm gonna try to put them together in April. And if I can, that's that's gonna be cool, man. Be definitely looking forward to breeding something, you know. Personally never bred anything on my own. My dad has. Speaking of breeding. My crested geckos, they're big enough now, and I just noticed um, Pop is a male, so and Tart is a female. So I'll probably have to get two separate cages for them. It'd be nice to breed them once, you know, make a couple crested gecko babies, but I don't want them living together and just breeding all the time. So near future, they need two separate cages, something I'll get on soon. Let me get this done. I'll talk to you all in a little bit when we medicate these snakes. Erica doesn't like being on camera, so, but she's going to have to be. So I got two syringes. This one's for the male. He's a little bigger, so it's got a little more. This one's for the female. But like I said, the vet did all this. They gave them to me already ready to go. So this one's the male. It's real simple. And if your snake's ever sick, the vet will tell you how to do it. But you take the snake...
and you don't put it in the center it's like right around here so a little bit up towards the head from the center of the body pretty much so baby take the snake hold like here then like there get towards the camera and you alternate sides so I did the right side last time and you put it right in the muscle area so not in the spine and you'll feel feel like rib bones you don't want to feel that you want to go between the rib bones there you go I know girl uh oh let loose on her alright you can put it back that's pretty much it now we'll do the male. If you got a sick snake, I mean, you should sanitize your hands, I guess, between hands and any snake. I guess that'd be the smart thing to do. Come on. Hold him. This is the male. It's pretty cool looking. And he's paradox. See, like, there's white spots on him. They're not supposed to be there. It's not genetic or anything. It's just something that happens. It's like there and there. Yeah, it's about good. Him, I'm going to hold his head just gently so he doesn't bite Erica. <laughs> Right in the muscle, push it in, pull it out, and that's it. Real simple. So I got five of these. I do it every three days. So in like 15 days, these guys should be good. Not hearing and breathing anymore. And that's what we're going for. You never want to hear a snake breathe. Muffin's a little different. She, I can hear her breathing sometimes when she gets excited, but that's just her. She's so big, like when she lets that air out, you can kind of hear it. That's it, man. Thanks for watching. Don't medicate your animals alone. Get a vet's decision. I'll see y'all next time. Right? She gets it. Peace.